again, Grapple fans. Good afternoon to you. And here at the Town Hall in Starbridge, we welcome you to another professional wrestling session. A super heavyweight bout comes first, but more about that from our MC, Alec Kane. This is a super heavyweight contest. It will be fought over six three-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout will decide the winner. Introducing, first of all, on my left, in the red corner, from Perth, Scotland, weighing in at 25 stone, Drew McDonald. <laughs> and his opponent, on my right, in the blue corner, from Fairham, Tarzan, Johnny Wilson. <laughs> and your referee for this contest, Mr. Peter Zakash. So, thank you, Alec Kane. Peter Zakash, the referee in charge of this one. Six three-minute rounds. Two falls to decide it. There's uh, Big Drew McDonald from Perth, Scotland. 25 stone three, actually, his weight. And his opponent, Johnny Wilson, at mere 16 stone. Round one. <laughs> now, Johnny, Johnny Wilson is a great big fella and a very powerful man. But can he do anything against a man about eight and a half, nine stone more than he is? for nine years, so Black Belt second Dan at that. Ex Scots Guardsman, second battalion. And turn pro wrestler in March 1984. Can Johnny Wilson, with his experience and strength, lift 25 stone three? Four leg lock to Wilson. Johnny Wilson from Caution near Portsmouth. Just a, a powerful bodybuilder, 16 stone in weight. But solid muscle by comparison to uh, some of them. Drew, Drew McDonald, a big man, a really big, heavy man to deal with. Very, very powerful with it. I love his, some of his uh, tattoo marks. They're really great, especially the right thigh, if we can get a close-up of that left. Right on the bell of round one. <laughs> it's already sweating after just one round of three minutes. Drew McDonald from Perth. Very, very nice guy, Mr. Scotland. Known as Mr. Scotland, of course. Karate man who mustn't use a karate here, of course, and knows it. Must be tempting on occasions. Five to go. Second away, round two. As we start round two, 
It'll be very interesting to see whether the powerful Johnny Wilson ties in himself with his terrific physique can lift this man of 25 stone three. The double jerk stranglehold to Drew McDonald. And of course, a right knee in his Wilson's back to help him out. Still the full jab stranglehold just can Johnny Wilson turn the tables on this one. Oh, it's gonna be match of power this one. If you can catch the muscles in Johnny Wilson's neck as he lays on one of these power holes, it really is something to watch. looks very cool about the whole thing, eh? Hair uh, pull to get the headlock and strangle arm, which didn't even arrive properly. And just 30 seconds to go in round two. to Johnny Wilson now, as he takes his uh, quick mouthwash. Caution near Portsmouth, residing now at Fairham, incidentally. His brother, unfortunately, finished with the wrestling for a very un unfortunate finish, that one, but more about that later. 16 stone of, of Johnny, and wants to wrestle more on the continent. He's been to Belgium recently. Seconds away, round three. But uh, I think most of us like to see him here because He's one of the reliable heavyweights that really is, keeps himself really fit. But of course, when he's up against a man like Drew McDonald, he's got problems. Inside of the forearm. And the crush hold left. A slam and a cross press, and surely Johnny Wilson can never move after that, can he? Yes, he can. He got the left shoulder blade off. Yes, and Drew, Drew gives up. To take more inside of four hours. Of course, Drew goes straight down, needed submission from that. After he'd injured it, that right hand side of his back there. Just one minute. And Drew gets the first submission. In one minute of round three, the first fall of the contest with a submission goes to Scotland's Drew McDonald. Drew McDonald. Uh, 
well. There's a young uh, fan of Big Daddy's, obviously, who I'm afraid is not here this afternoon. It will disappoint her a bit, but I'm sure she's uh, enjoying the rest of it this afternoon. Second away, round four. Halfway through the boat, as we start round four, MacDonald. The black beard and the black gear. Trying to annihilate Johnny Wilson now. And he gets a public warning for that last one. First public warning to Drew MacDonald. And for following his man. Many of those on the canvas. Johnny, in the meantime, had problems with that uh, right hip area, and he's going to get another. Oh, he's going to get a crunching body. Bearhug here, and this is how he got the submission last time. McDonald's. And that moves. Oh yes, there's the left, and it's a cross press. Just under a minute of round four, and it's the equalizing fall to Johnny Wilson. In 57 seconds of round four, we have the equalizer to Tarzan, Johnny Wilson. So two rounds to go, and one fall each now. One submission fall, gaining the third to McDonald, and the equalizer there, a fall by Wilson. Second away, round five. Round five. And everybody here waiting to see the uh, Skull Murphy Pete Roberts bout, which follows this one, of course. And uh, this is turning out to be quite an interesting lead up to it. As we start round five, Drew McDonald. On the attack first with a headlock and strangle. One public warning against McDonald already, attacking his man continuously on the canvas. He hasn't let go, so he can continue. Once he lets go, he must cease the move and break away. Out of the hand there. He's let go now and he's on the ropes. Let him up. referee allowing uh, McDonald to get away with quite a bit here. One public warning only against him so far. There were quite a few moves there that could have been uh, penalized. Go, round five. Telling his man to get back. And another bear hug. Directly he gets up and goes for the bear hug, which is most effective last time. Half a minute to go now in the fifth, and another bear hug. The Johnny Wilson going for that arm. Oops. Peter Zakash not sure about that one, but breaks them up in case. Ten seconds. Double wrist lock in the back hammer to Drew McDonald, and right on the bell of round five. The 
some reason, Drew McDonald's not letting him go. He's quite happy to just stay there with his full weight on him, as if he didn't hear the bell. Awfully sorry I didn't hear the bell, says McDonald. Well, that's a curious one. Just stay down on that uh, hold of his, which wasn't a wrestling hold anyway. Second wave of the sixth and final round. So here we have the final round six coming up, and Johnny Wilson knows what happened to him in that interval, even if uh, nobody else does. And he might just show McDonald here. If he can give away nine stone. <laughs> He's managed to lift his man once, Johnny Wilson. Anyway. And the guillotine. Eight. Up but eight now. Oops, stomach. And inside. Didn't like that second first one at all, but referee was right there. Two minutes left in the box. retaliation here. Just a minute and a 30 seconds left in the box. Single figure interlock. Jockey Wilson's right hand against Drew McDonald's left. And the right hand wins it. Oh, until the half hole. And a second public warning. Second, second and final, and public, final warning. public warning to Drew McDonald. With just one minute to go. 60 seconds to go. So it's one fall each and two public warnings against McDonald. <laughs> oh, has he got the power to deal with this enormous man? He's doing so well, Wilson. Half a minute. 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds to go. <laughs> 20 seconds. And it's a folding press. Wilson can't hold it, gets in the bear hug. Eight seconds. Seven. Six, and he's still in the, no, he's still in the uh, scissors here. I'm afraid he can't get out of that. So it looks like a one fall each draw with two public warnings against Drew McDonald. He's still mad. Well, there we are, folks. Each wrestler has one fall each. Therefore, the referee's decision is a draw.